Hello, in this video I want to talk about brace expansion. Brace expansion is kind of an interesting thing that I think a lot of people don't learn about until much later in their shell using days. Um, it took actually a long time before I even really got into using brace expansion myself. I probably used Bash for almost 10 years before I really learned about how to use it properly. Uh, now brace expansion is basically where you use curly braces and you either give like a range you know or you can give something like that or you can have a comma separated list and do different things you can also put a string around you know the brace expansion part and you can even have multiple copies and this will do uh, combinations of each one so you'll see here how it actually expands out into each combination of 1 and 2, 5 and 2, 10 and 2, and so on. You know, here's here's 5 and 2, here's 10 and 2, so and then 1 and 4, and so on. So you can do something like create a, like a list of all combinations of letters uh, in three different ways by doing something like this. Now you might ask, what is this useful for? Why am I doing this? Um, and one use that I found uh, useful recently is to actually use it when renaming a file. Uh, for instance, here I have a file. I want to actually prefix the give it a, a prefix and instead of typing out you know the whole thing each time, I can actually do this where I say I want to turn nothing into show dash 2012 10 18 dash and so what this expands out into is move space and then Romney tax plan dot mp4 space and then show dash 2012 10 18 dash Romney tax plan dot four so it's a quick way of actually inserting you know extra text and and you just want to prefix something really fast so you can see the results here how it actually renamed the file um, you can also another use that I found uh, nice is let me see okay I'll just here I'll just create a few files here touch Okay, so I have a hundred files in here now. You can see how quickly I can create a bunch of files if I want to. Um, and then you probably have used tar and you're like, oh, I have to type out the file name twice if I want to actually do it. Well, if you have, if you're going to name the tar file the same as the directory name, a quick shortcut you can use is to say, you know, um, documents. And since you want to specify the tar file first, you give in curly braces dot tar dot gz first comma nothing. So again, this this expands into this, but you don't have to type in the name twice. So there we go. We have a tar file that we created pretty quickly. Um, so that's a neat use, is to quickly do tar files like that. Some people think, uh, seem to think that brace expansion is some form of regular expressions, and they're really not. They're a completely different type of expansion, or well, I mean, it's an, it really is an expansion. Regular expressions are about pattern matching, and brace expansion is about expanding the arguments that you give it. And, um, one thing that I initially thought when I first saw brace expansion was that somehow using brace expansion would run commands multiple times like it would actually run echo 1, echo 2, echo 3, echo 4 but what it does is it actually expands out the list before the echo command or before the command that you're running it in gets executed 
So 1 to 8 actually becomes echo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like that. It's not like this. One, to, you know, it's it's not like this where it like executes it one for each time. So that's something to really keep in mind, especially when you um, are doing, are you're using, you can't use brace expansion in a command that can't accept multiple file name arguments or something like that. Like if you have a program, um, like I don't have Postfix installed on this machine, but um, something I'll do is is delete a, you know, is delete a, a QID and I can't post super only can take one argument at a time. You have to run it again for each QID. So I wouldn't be able to do something like this. You know, the QIDs in Postfix are a lot longer, but just for the sake of example, I wouldn't be able to do something like this and get away with it because Post Super would only take one argument at a time. So instead, I'd have to do something like this where I'd say, you know, echo one to eight and then pass that into Xargs yeah. and tell it to only execute uh, for each of the arguments that comes in only execute each argument one time one argument per command run um, so that's one way to you know get around that kind of thing if you need to use if you want to use brace expansion with a program that can only use it um, you that can only use one argument so I hope this kind of demonstrates uh, quickly how you can use brace expansion how you know powerful it is uh, I've used it all kinds of ways and I keep on finding new ways for it and it just you know it's one of those new things in my toolbox that I'll never give up and I you know I can't believe that I was using the command line before without this incredible power um, so hopefully you'll find uh, some ways to use it yourself and I look forward to seeing you next time